Lesson 15. Vertex Editor. There will be times when the planner may need to move one or more vertices on a LAN unit. The Vertex Editor tool allows the user to make finer edits by moving, adding, or deleting vertices. The Vertex Editor and Reshape tools can be used together to edit a shared boundary between two or more adjacent LAN units without creating gaps or overlaps. The objectives are, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to move a vertex to reshape a LAN unit, add a vertex, delete a vertex, and edit a shared boundary between adjacent LAN units using the vertex editor and reshape tools. If needed, expand the table of contents. Click on the case file name. Select Create Edit PLUs. Click on the slide to collapse the Edit LAN Units dialog beside the table of contents. Click on the Select button on the PLU Edit toolbar, then click in the Map view to select a single LAN unit to edit. If you have any draft LAN units, Edit Vertices can be used to remove the areas of overlap. On the PLU Edit toolbar, click on the Edit Vertices button. When editing vertices, the existing vertices are displayed as dark gray circles. The light gray circles, or ghost vertices, let you add a new vertex. Click and drag one of the dark gray circles to move the vertex to a new location. The edge you are moving will display as a red dashed line until you release the mouse button. Add a vertex by dragging a ghost vertex, the light gray circle, to a new location. The new vertex will change to a dark gray circle and two new ghost vertices will be added on either side of the new vertex. Delete a vertex by right clicking on one of the dark gray circles and selecting Delete. To finish the sketch and stop editing vertices, either click on the map away from the selected LAN unit or press the F2 key. The edited LAN unit will auto-complete based on geometry status. Click Yes to update the program acres. Next we will demonstrate how to edit a shared boundary between adjacent LAN units using the Vertex Editor and Reshape tools. The Vertex Editor and Reshape tools can be used together to edit a shared boundary between adjacent LAN units. This can be done by first using the Vertex Editor to remove the area from one LAN unit. And this could also be done with the Reshape tool. The second step is to reshape the other LAN unit, expanding it to match the new boundary. Click the Select button on the PLU Edit toolbar. Then click on the map to select one LAN unit that shares a boundary with another LAN unit. Click on the Edit Vertices button. Click and drag on one of the dark gray circles to move the vertex to a new location, creating a gap between the LAN units. If desired, drag the ghost vertices to shape the new boundary. Click away from the LAN unit when finished and select Yes to update the program acres. Click the Select button on the PLU Edit toolbar, then select the second LAN unit. Click on the Reshape button. Start digitizing inside the LAN unit. Digitize the expansion area overlapping with the first polygon. If needed, hold the control key to activate snapping. Double click back inside the LAN unit to finish. The LAN unit will complete and snap to the new boundary. Select Yes to update the program acres. Expand the LAN Units dialog and click Save and Close to save your changes and validate topology. Anytime you make an edit that reduces the LAN unit area, a warning message will display. You can open the LAN Unit Report tool to view the LAN units that have been reduced in area and identify practices that may need updating or click OK to close the dialog. Conservation Desktop will validate topology, save changes to MPAD, and refresh the map. 
Thank you for viewing this lesson for Conservation Desktop Version 2, Release 2.